At 6.15 this morning, the first thing Danny Love saw was police at his neighbor's door. I know I woke up this morning, they was all over here. His neighbor, 60-year-old John Dunham, a 31-year veteran of the Houston Fire Department's Life Safety Bureau, was taken in handcuffs. Houston police say he was arrested for felony theft. Alongside him, who neighbors say was his girlfriend, former city worker Cheryl Lynette Jackson, the same person this man says offered him a deal. Selling tickets. Love says he was one of Jackson's victims and filed a police report. In this separate case, he claims he gave her $530 for Super Bowl tickets. He told police he never got them and never got his money. Yes. You went to police? Yes. What did police tell you? They had up an investigation. Almost the same circumstances as this case. Police say Dunham and Jackson were arrested for selling Super Bowl tickets to a long Longtime friend of Dunham's. Police say the man paid them $4,000, but this man tells police he never got the tickets. In Love's case, he says he asked her again for the money. He says she sent him this a photo of a bag of cash saying she'd pay him back. Were you able to get your money back? No, ma'am. We just checked. Jackson and Dunham have not been formally charged, just arrested, but the investigation is just beginning. This is not Jackson's first brush with the law. In 2010, records show Jackson, a former assistant manager with the City of Houston Public Works, pleaded guilty to theft of $1,500 to $20,000 by a public servant. Then in 1995, Records show she was also convicted of tampering with government evidence. Today, Love maintains his neighbor, John Dunham, is innocent. He would never do nothing like this.